Yes, okay. and so uh, he passed away suddenly in 1993. He was only 67 years old. Mm -hmm. uh, but he gave a lot. Uh, how old were you when he passed away? 21. 21. And you, Samir, how old were you when your father? 27. So you both lived quite a while with your, your father artist. I grew up in his, studio. in his studio. I'm the youngest in my family and my dad's favorite. <laughs> <laughs> if, so, if, your, if your brother was here, he would have said the same thing. Thank you. Thank you, Manuela. Uh, it's very obvious that the three of you are very passionate about your, your parent, to be very honest. You're very knowledgeable, and we will see did you acquire that knowledge because you started running an estate or a foundation, or because really you grew up with him and, and got to love art. Actually, the first thing, you mentioned that you're a filmmaker. Shirin, very briefly, just one line, what was your background before you start being so committed uh, into your father's estate? Far, far away. Corporate world. Yeah, I have a degree in mathematics and an MBA in finance and 20 years in um, commercial banking, the last 10 of which is with probably the largest uh, financial institution on an international level, a blue chip company. So I'm totally disconnected. Yeah. But all these skills will be very helpful, I guess, in the estate. Manuela, what is your background? You are an artist yourself. Maybe I mean, you just very briefly tell us your background. Naturally, I grew up in, uh, with artists and uh, I'm an artist, I'm a painter, but I had a passion. I wanted to do something that was different than all the m guy painters in my house. I'm the only girl painter, female. Yes. So I uh, went and studied uh, character animation uh, at the California Institute of the Arts. It's a Walt Disney founded school. And uh, my work is very childlike. True. And, uh, but at the same time, uh, um, I'm, I studied film, film and video. Uh, but although I don't work in the field as, as much, uh, because I, yeah, I archive. That, the reason why I'm asking <laughs> is that I want to give a background and understand the purpose of this talk now, at this stage, we will start is to really understand how you three manage, and we will use the word estate easier. I know you're a foundation, and maybe you'll explain us. You call yourself studio, you call estate. So it's Hanel Abbek Kalem, Yani El Hadaf Min El Aada Di, and Ihna Nifham, Homa Zaybi Diru, Wubkul Ihtarami, Min Ashar Sinin, Hamad Abdullah Makan Shal Kharito. برضو برجع وبقول ان في بيوت مزادات وفي كولكترز مركزين على ثلاثة أربعة فنانين مصريين لكن اللي سمير عمله حط بباع الخريطة حط حمد عبد الله الخريطة شيرين مرسي نفس الكلام من خمس ست سنين أنا بتكلم بكل شفافية هنا من خمس ست سنين ما كناش نسمع عن أحمد مرسي خاصة إنه بقاله أكثر من أربعين سنة في أمريكا والتو إكزامبلز للفنانين المصريين إنهم سابوا مصر في الخمسينات والسبعينات فاحنا هدفنا ان احنا نفهم منكم لو مش فاهمني يا سمير قول لي نفهم منكم النهارده انتوا اولا هل بداتوا كليجل ستراكشر يعني دلوقتي حامد عبد الله عندك فاونديشن ليجل ومكتوبه في فرنسا او في مصر كاستيت ونفس الحكايه اللي شيرين مرسي ولا كل واحد بقى بيعمل اللي هو انا مسمي نفسي استيت بس بشتغل من البيت يعني تمام فده هدفنا نتعلمه علشان زي ما بقول في ناس كتير عائلات بتجيلي وبكل صراحه عندنا مشكلتين ما بيثقوش في جاليريز اطلاقا بالنسبه لهم دول هيجوا ياخدوا الاعمال ويهربوا والحاجات يا يا بيحسوا ان هم اللي لازم تو بروتكت كومبليتلي بس مش عارفين يعملوها ازاي فانا نفسي هدف هدفنا نمشي الاكزامبلز بتاعكم از فيري سكسسفول اكتر فاونديشن قديمه بتاعت بولكي راجوسيون من سنه 2011 عشان نبقى واضحين يعني اكتر واحده لغايه دلوقتي شغاله اوفيشلي اوكي سمير نبتدي بيك بدات امتى تركز okay. على شغل باباك اوكي فيرست اي هاف تو سي ذات All my life, and my brothers and sisters the same, we were in the arts like swimming. So we grew up with that. And I have to say that nothing could, would have happened if my mother was not there. My mother, who is, uh, uh, passed uh, last year, was uh, living 
after my father passed, 40 years, daily, daily working on is, uh, establishing the reputation of the artist, the collection, and talking to us about what are you doing, what are you not doing, and so on. And daily she, she, she was moving to meet other artists, institutions, uh, documentations, and, 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 and she, she passed as the virus. So uh, that's one thing I have to say. Secondly, um, we grew up uh, in our education that even if we were living abroad, that we have a responsibility towards our country, which is Egypt. Uh, don't forget, my father was uh, uh, a kind of uh, nationalist revolutionary, <laughs> thinking that power should go to the people and that sh things should change. And uh, he was educating in us in this way. So we have an education that we, we have also uh, to, uh, to do what is to be done, that his art is known. And then another uh, very important thing is that uh, maybe the uh, main leaders, uh, the, the main leaders of the, uh, I mean the mainstream people who make the time of art in Egypt or not also abroad. Maybe they uh, don't uh, record the story, but we have a field of uh, artists and intellectuals who until now are connected uh, to uh, Abdallah. I meet every day when I come to Egypt uh, people who knew him from long period, from the 50s or the 60s, or from more recent period, or people who um, learn from him uh, by uh, uh, other generation. I see here some of <laughs> in the audience who re re remind me this. So, uh, and also uh, I have a personal uh, uh, story that uh, w when I started uh, filming, my first project was to make a film with my father. But the problem that at that time he got sick and very sick and he passed. So I could not do the film. So maybe also for that reason I have a more uh, uh, interest in doing this work. Um, so uh, the first thing we have done uh, is uh, when my father passed was to connect with the Egyptian intellectuals, artists, supporters such as the son of Abu Ghazi, Ahmad, uh, Azidin Naguib. Uh, at that time uh, there were some journalists like Subhi Sharouni, Samir Gharib, uh, Edouard Harat, who was a writer, many people who were very close to him. Um, we connected with them, so wh what should we do? We, we, we could not come in Egypt, my brother and me, for a different reason, especially that we did not want to do the military service <laughs> at that time. So uh, we sent the missions to my mother and my sister to come here and interview the friends of Abdallah. So they say the story, they, say, they talk about him and they do something. And one of the first things which happened, it was in, uh, he passed in 85, it was in the uh, late 80s. Uh, we had a negotiation via, uh, especially Ahmed and uh, Abu Ghazi and uh, Azedin Nagib, with the Ministry of Culture, so that a collection of his work would go to the uh, Egyptian Museum. And we made a donation of, uh, 30 works, uh, together with the 20 works they already had, it makes 50, uh, under the condition that they open a uh, pavillon Abdallah in the museum. Mm -hmm. So we signed, we gave them the works, Which but they never opened that? the uh, <laughs> pavillon. Which year was that? Did you this was uh, uh, between the uh, end of the 80s and beginning of 90. And then in 94, there was a public show uh, where his work was shown in the museum a big collection, and uh, because at that time there were also works in his house in Maniel, where he, because he, two last years he was coming back to Egypt, but because of his sickness he could not uh, develop his uh, projects. So he had works in uh, our familial house in Maniel and in the museum. So this is the first thing we hoped at that time that the Egypt will, uh, uh, will be the place where the things will happen. But unfortunately, because of many reasons, it's too lo long to say here, but 
most, many of them are political reasons, some are administrative reasons, the fact that we, we are abroad. I don't think that it is because Abdallah was living abroad that he was uh, put on the side. This is not true, because many other artists were living outside and they are uh, still there. He I was a problem for uh, uh, some people who were high, high uh, placed and they don't want uh, him to be uh, on the picture. So uh, it was after uh, some years, uh, we got uh, tired about running, uh, about opportunities in Egypt. We have worked with many galleries, by the way. We have worked with uh, 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 Safar Khan, uh, Safar Khan, Khan and with the Mashrabiya mm. and uh, with others in the first period. Uh, and uh, there were some exhibitions here and there, but it was not very uh, well. It was little milieu, very few people. And then a uh, year passes, we uh, decided uh, to make uh, an effort towards uh, the world, yeah, On also. So uh, uh, we, uh, we had uh, that uh, in the beginning of the uh, end of the uh, 2000s, yeah, we had a very good uh, connection with an Egyptian uh, gallerist whose name is Karim Francis and also with a Lebanese one who was here yesterday, uh, Saleh Barakat. And the, with the two of them, we uh, started organizing uh, events for international uh, exhibition and show. showcasing. Uh, but but, but I, I want to go back just to the main thing. Hamid Abdallah, you have a foundation, a legal structure, okay. or you are working okay. flexibly? Yeah. Oh. Oh, okay. I'm talking about what we are doing because that is our main. Uh, aim. No, we'll but get. I know, I know. The details but now. our, um, our, uh, uh, it is more uh, informal. Informal. In informal. Okay. Uh, we are working on a project of a kind of foundation. Yes. Uh, but it's a little complicated. But I, out of I, France. Uh, or in so, Egypt. So, uh, well, for a long, long period, we were. Uh, uh, convinced that it should be in Egypt, but it is a little difficult. So it may be part in Egypt and part in France, and maybe elsewhere. Hell. Main, main uh, uh, connections are in Egypt and in Paris, so maybe it should be the two, Bizarre. going Bizarre. and coming. And then it should travel all around the world. Bizarre. Uh, is it a legal structure, or do you work alone, or do you work with your friends? I work alone. It's not a legal structure uh, as of yet. Okay. Um, I've initiated talks um, with uh, a law firm. Um, the foundation legal structure in Egypt is a very complicated one. Um, it is not, um, there are lots of hurdles because Sahaya. it's seen as something um, un with unnationalistic ahdef. Uh, um, so chances are, is a amelna muassasa fa'alan inu hatar el daula ha ha tikbirni inana amel keda barra masr, or I can choose a separate legal structure and try to be creative about um, using the existing legal structure. Um, in our favor. So right now we call it a studio. My father is still with us. Sahih. And so right now this is good for it's now. Working. Yeah. Hali. Exactly.